was much younger and new at it. I wanted her to be the first Native American woman president. <laughs> and that made the pressure of parenting just that much more intense. However, in time, pressure changed because nothing mattered but the fact that I love this baby and love it. Now at age 35, we are close as a mother and daughter can be. And even though I still wanted to be the first Native American woman president, being healthy and having a good heart outweighs anything else. I was proud of her no matter the job time. With my second daughter, things were different. That intense feeling of motherly love was there, of course, but the fear was not. With each child comes a different personality, and let me tell you, my oldest is a sweet girl who has a pleasing personality, but my second is bullheaded. She will do whatever she can to prove you wrong and her right. I must say she takes after death. <laughs> but I love that quality in her. It definitely shows her inner strength, and I love it. I would like her to be the second Native American woman president. <laughs> yes, my aspirations are high when it comes to my kids, but what mothers isn't. Now, here comes my third child and his son. Wow, what a different experience he is. With boys from different worries and struggles, he is so darn sweet and so darn boy. All at the same time. Sure makes discipline a lot harder when he looks up at me with those big brown eyes and says, Mom, please. I admit it, I'm done, and he gets whatever he wants, and that drives his sisters crazy. <laughs> his heart is golden, though, and I would love nothing more for him than to be a good father. What his job title is doesn't matter. Being present and being an awesome dad is going to make a difference in any country. I thought I was done, then eight years later comes baby number four. She's the easiest of them all, of course, and she's not even two yet. She is 13 years younger than my oldest daughter, and she just about raises herself. She wants to do what the older kids do, and a lot of times she does. It amazes me how easy she picks up on things, and her sisters and brothers love her. There's no jealousy. They want her to have everything they wanted and didn't get. That is the real moment I knew I did something right, when they wanted more for each other than they wanted for themselves. So for me, being a mother is not something I can explain. It is something I feel is intense and it's real. When I look into my kids' eyes, I know why the Creator put me here. It's not to be famous or to be rich. It's to create these babies who are going to be special in this world. They're going to be strong Native leaders, and they will make their ancestors proud, as they have made their mother proud in her time at work. Thank you.